from the red lip batfish to sea spiders and goblin sharks. Join us as we take a look at the 10 weirdest sea animals you've probably never heard about. And I want to give a huge shout out to Etienne, this month's winner over on Patreon. They pitched the idea for this episode. The bizarrely named sarcastic fringehead is native to the waters off the western coast of North America from San Francisco to Baja, California. This strange fish has the ability to greatly extend its jaws, which it uses to scare off potential predators. When two male fringeheads fight for territory, they press their widened mouths together as though they're kissing. The fish with the bigger mouth wins. This odd-looking sea creature is actually a colony of polyps that have formed together in branches. Found in tropical and temperate waters around the world, the name sea pen comes from the quill-like formation the polyps create. The structure is anchored to the sandy floor by a bulb, which becomes a refuge for the polyps when threatened by predators. The hilarious-looking red-lipped batfish gets its name from its somewhat similar appearance to a bat. These red-lipped beauties are only found around the Galapagos Islands and off the coast of Peru, at depths of 3 to 76 metres. An embarrassment to the fish community, the red-lipped batfish can barely swim. Instead, it uses its fins as legs to walk slowly across the ocean floor. The use of the bright red lips is uncertain, however marine biologists think it may be used to enhance species recognition during mating periods. Found in the Celeb Sea just south of the Philippines, Toothodrilus, or squid worms as they're commonly known, were only recently discovered in 2010 by marine biologists from the Shrips Institution of Oceanography. This strange sea animal exhibits behaviour of both a seabed dwelling and free swimming creature, and is considered a transitional organism. It is currently the only discovered species of this genus. They're not considered a predator, but instead feed on drifting plant particles, dead microscopic animals, phytoplankton, and fecal matter. Mm -mm. The undulating appearance of the frilled shark is thought to be one of the origins of the mythic sea serpent. Known as the living fossil, this strange looking sea animal can grow up to 2 metres, or around 6 foot 6 inches in length. It is found sporadically throughout the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The hunting behaviour of this reclusive beast has seldom been observed. It's thought that the frilled shark attacks its prey by recoiling its body and striking forwards like a snake. It can extend its jaws so wide that it often consumes other animals whole. Once the prey is swallowed, rows of razor-sharp teeth keep it from escaping the mouth. Interestingly, the frilled shark takes up to three and a half years to give birth to its young, making it the longest gestation period of any vertebrate. The Terrible Claw Lobster is a relatively new discovery found in 2007 off the coast of Luzon in the Philippines. It is a type of blind lobster that features one long saw-like claw. Scientists aren't sure what the function the one long claw plays, but it's most likely used in seeking out prey. Only four specimens of this type of lobster have ever been discovered. Looking like something out of a steampunk graphic novel, this horrifying looking creature boasts the biggest fangs proportionally out of any other fish. Its teeth are so large that it can't actually close its mouth fully, and has evolved two slots either side of its brain that the longest teeth slide into. Found in most tropical and temperate waters around the world, the fang tooth is relatively harmless to humans, despite its terrifying appearance, and only grows to around 16 centimeters or around 6.3 inches. Inipniasts are a type of deep sea cucumber and are found in most oceans around the world. They have webbed structures at the top and bottom of their bodies that act like fins that allow them to float above the ocean floor. These strange sea animals have a see-through casing showing their digestive tract. When scientists discovered these creatures at depths of 2,500 meters, they called them headless chicken fish. Found in the Mediterranean and Caribbean seas, as well as the Antarctic and Arctic Oceans, these creatures bear a striking resemblance to spiders. Sea spiders are a type of arthropod and not related to arachnids in any way. However, its traditional classification puts them more closely related to arachnids than any other arthropod group. They usually have eight legs, but there are species that have five and six legs. To feed, they use a long proboscis that they inject into soft-bodied animals to suck out their innards. 
This deep sea shark belongs to the family of Mitsukarinidae, an ancient lineage thought to be around 125 million years old. The goblin shark has been caught in most oceans around the world which indicates a worldwide habitat. The distinct looking shark is categorized by its pink flabby skin and long snout. The specialized jaws of this beast can shoot forward to almost the length of its snout to capture its prey. This motion is assisted by tight ligaments that keep the jaw in a natural position. When the goblin shark bites, the tension in the ligaments is released, catapulting the mouth forward. Its teeth are separated into two types. The front teeth are sharp fangs, while the ones at the rear are small and flat used for grinding flesh. Thankfully, this intense looking shark swims at a depth too low to pose a threat to humans. Mm, game time! Hello, ham fam! Today we play a game. How many animals can you count in this picture? We'll give you 45 seconds, then at the end you can cast your vote in our poll. Get ready, we'll start the timer now. How many animals can you spot in this picture? Well, that was 45 seconds. How many animals did you spot? Vote in the poll that'll appear in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. Did you spot 5, 9, 12 or 16 animals? Vote in the poll now and leave your answer in the comments section below. We'll post the correct answer in the comments later today. Just want to give another huge shout out to Etienne, this month's Patreon winner. If you want to see your idea turn into an episode of Slap Tam, head on over to our Patreon campaign for the details. There's a link in the description box below. Well, here, well, there's another episode down. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, then why not hit that subscribe button? Because we have content just like this coming out each and every week. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 